people now. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. whenever you work on a series one of the benefits is that you we get the chance to sort of flesh out and learn about characters over multiple episodes and hopefully multiple seasons obviously Ridley Scott has directed some of the coolest stories in the history of cinema what is a Ridley Scott film a story of his that you would love to have seen play out over multiple episodes or multiple seasons so that maybe we got to get to know the characters a little bit more than just two hours um, I like Thelma and Louise I don't know why. It's just it's very, very unique. And um, those both those actresses and characters are just very, um, very deep and entertaining and surprising. I would have probably tell me Louise, but I would have, I probably have said Blade Runner. Blade Runner. I just, oh, I my live, God. I yeah. Yes. What a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Blade Runner. I mean, like that would wow. I mean, like the, that world would be just fascinating to just to just watch over a, you know, yeah. over a space of time. Um, yeah. Because Gladiator, you would be like, in the a straw, or like a sword, <laughs> <I'm not sorry. laughs> too much, you know? Yeah. But Blade Runner, yeah. you could just stand in the Alien would just forever. be terrifying. Alien, you would literally oh. just be, it would be, a, it'd be, a, it'd be a horror, a horror, you know, for 10 hours. I'd much rather mm -hmm. stick to the one hour 30 or, you know, the two hours that we have for now. Which oh, I'm sorry. Would you, would you like to be a show? I, I know he's done. I know there have been multiple films, but I would love to explore the world of Alien even more so. Okay. I feel like there's so much history there, and we haven't matched up Prometheus and Covenant with Alien yet. So I feel like I'd like to see the through line of that. But uh, but I'm a big. I got. I have a Alien poster framed on my wall. I just feel like you're an extreme yeah. fan of. Oh, oh, for sure. Very much so. Very much. If you can't tell, I'm a bit of a nerd. You know, one of the reasons I've always loved sci-fi is that no matter when it's written, so many elements of the stories end up to a certain degree kind of coming true, whether it's the technology or more sort of big societal ideas. What is an aspect of this show that may not be true in our world yet, but you think down the road maybe has the best shot at actually becoming a reality? Probably I think right. that we're, as humans, we're relying more and more on technology to solve our problems. And I think that is probably a massive through line of this this show is that, you know, we are relying on, on these androids to, to raise and, and birth kids. So, um, yeah, I think the, the, the reliance on technology is a major, a major thing. I don't like that uh, in the future in the show that religion is still causes such grief for people and beliefs and, um, and um, people judge each other on their religious beliefs, which I, hopefully that doesn't happen in the future. The whole reason why we're going to another planet is because oxygen levels are too low and people can't breathe. And I was like, well, that's very weird that people are walking around and in oxygen, like, and can't breathe. Like the world has a pandemic, which makes them unable to breathe. And then that's, why we go to space i think yeah i think yeah so, like, um, yeah that kind of and, and for me i think it would be the, the idea of space travel i think we you know it's that's something that would be i feel could happen quite 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 soon quite quickly especially seeming as we are in this sort of space where we are we don't know where the planet's going what's happening with it you know <laughs> it's uh terrifying but also quite weirdly exciting at the same time yeah. i do want to ask you know whenever i start a show one of the things I'm always just personally most concerned about is what is the direction it's going and how is it going to end? Like, am I going to put forward years of my life and get to an end that's maybe satisfying or not, not satisfying or whatever the case may be? When you guys are a part of a show and you're thinking long term, is there any part of you that pulls someone aside and says like, okay, like just, just where are we going? Tell me, tell me, like, give, give, give me the end line. What's, what's, what's the end point? Yeah, we always ask that. We never get an answer though. Why not? Dude, you got to well, push harder, man. I don't think people have the answer as well. You know, things change so much and you see relationships on screen and what's working and what's the audience really um, enjoying. And sometimes what your first, the first trajectory changes. People Aaron Govanovsky has the answer. He's the only one with the answer. Oh my God. Like every like all lunch the time. with Aaron was like that. <laughs> every, like we were all just like, 
you somebody get this man a drink and get something out of him like, and he yeah. was he was yeah it was it was crazy like i remember one lunch winter had a really long talk with him and everyone was like winter got what it. did you get he, what did you get like, what yeah. did you get and then it was like winter you tell us what you talked to aaron about you know it was uh Wait, what did they talk about? Yeah, we never. No, the dude, like they seriously, don't know. and they don't know it, it, this is, is the so thing, good at right? Secrets. It's it's he's he's he's, he's impenetrable, and like and it, the the turns that this show goes through, like I don't know how many episodes you've seen yet, but you have no idea what you're in store for, mate. Like oh. I'm just like I genuinely am like I can't believe the people are going to see it. Like yeah, yeah I I'm just I I feel for you all. <laughs> Guys, seriously, congratulations on this. I'm really hoping that uh, we get to talk many more times about it. And hopefully the next time is in person. So I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope your families are staying safe. Cheers, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate it, man. Bye, guys. Take care. Thank you. Aaron doesn't got the answers. <laughs> He's just stringing us along. Yeah. Going, we don't need roads.